So uh -huh. be careful. Yes. And we started. Uh, this is uh, this uh, these three rooms. The first, the second, and the third were redone. So they uh -huh. are more or less accurate. Yeah. So we show the Sienia and uh, painted uh, in yellow Mogendovitz, which means places, yeah, yeah. that this is Jewish residence. You see Jews live everywhere in the Sienia, yeah. in particular in the rural uh, places, and they were about two, from 220 to 250,000. It belongs to the historians. Some say that, some say that. The same about the number of murdered people. Uh, um, mm. Lusianian historian yeah, says it's about 90 percent. A Jewish historian from Israel says it's about 95 to 96 percent. So uh -huh. the truth yeah. is somewhere in between, probably, mm. yeah. because nobody can stand it and see that. The other map, sorry to pay your attention to yeah. here, is um, an academic map made to uh, introduce the places of mass murder. Yeah. We searched for the whole of Lusiania. As you can see, and we have made arrows in red, where the, people, the Jewish population had been exterminated. You can see that uh -huh. from little places, uh -huh. they were all accumulated. They were all accumulated in bigger places, uh -huh. like from uh -huh. here, from here, from here. Uh -huh. And somewhere in the forests of uh -huh. these places, uh -huh. they were murdered. Uh -huh. Somewhere in the forests. Mm. Right? Mm. So, uh, uh, mm -hmm. With the help of the British Embassy, uh, there, are, there are now uh, signs of the places because under the Soviets, it was one type of, uh, of a grave stone. Uh, here lies Soviet people killed by the fascists. Mm -hmm. um, no, nowhere it was indicated who was killed and by whom. Now you can see here that the whole map is, is with graves. And, uh, and uh, some are distinguished. The biggest number of murdered people are in Panerai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Panerai is, is a little village, uh, a little village not far from Vilnius, 10 kilometers south of Vilnius, where when the Soviets um, uh, when the so annexed all the Baltic countries to Lithuania, yeah. Uh, to uh, the Soviet, to the Soviet, Soviet Union, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, established in Ponare a military base. You know, the military came even before, in, 19, in 1939, yeah, they were, yeah. and mm. they established a base. Mm. They wanted to keep liquid oil for the army, so they cut out there, uh, they cut out there 11 huge pits and put on them stones so that they could keep liquid oil there. Yeah, that's some sort so, of shame. But, hmm. yeah, have you been uh, to Panara? No, no, we haven't. Maybe you will go, to, you can see the pits. They are, uh, they are living, alive, alive today. So uh, they uh, have the pits and the, the Russians left quickly because uh, of the Wehrmacht army. And uh, the pits were ready to take in the victims. Here comes a very painful history. Very painful. Have a look what is Lithuania just in, in several months. Uh, first of all, it became Soviet. Mm -hmm. That is one shock. Secondly, it's one year of, of Soviet, which for the Jews was, from one side, it was liquidation of all Jewish identi identity. From the other side, it was free, free to enter high school, free medicine, free party, party to enter the, the ruling party, the communist party. So it changed from one side, closed, nationalized. From the other side, the poor gained. They, they can enter the party, they can talk freely, and they have not to pay for education. But it lasted not so long. When uh, in on the 14th of June 1941, uh, the the Soviet regime of Lithuania started Stalin's campaign of deportation. Mm -hmm. Stalin saw that this is the five, fifth column here. The Germans will come, and this is the fifth column which will uh, fight against uh, with the Germans against the Soviets. So uh, they started to deport unreliable 
element that they called it unreliable element. Who were the unreliable elements? These were the bourgeois, mm -hmm. the bourgeois class, the rich, and the uh, national, any national nationalistic organization. Any Lithuanian nationalistic organization like Scouts or Shaulei and, and so on, Jewish one, Bitar and others, everything was closed. The leadership was arrested, whether Lithuanian or Jewish, they were arrested. But uh, the, the, the worst was that they deported 30,000 people to the Soviet Union. They uprooted the farmer, the peasant, who was hundreds of years on the same soil, yeah, hundreds of years, and all of a sudden he's torn off from his house, deprived mm -hmm. to have anything, mm -hmm. and deported in terrible conditions to the Siberia or farmers. The same Jews, Jewish also. Mm -hmm. 7,000 Jews were among these uh, 28,000 mm -hmm. Lithuanian people, which by percentage was more than Lithuanian by percentage of oh, how many yeah, Jews yeah. lived here. Yeah. Yeah. 